If you're an entrepreneur unsure about how to showcase your personal brand on your website, keep watching this video till the very end. I've been in your shoes like so many of my clients before me. Creating an online presence can be really overwhelming, especially when you're not sure where to start. Why is it crucial to watch this video till the very, very end? Because I'll be sharing tips on how to share your website in a way that will entice your potential clients in wanting to work with you. What's up, bosses? It's Talene, your brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. And today I'm going to help you make your website look really good and functional and stylish and actually do its job and not just sit there looking pretty. And today I have a guest and my guest is Fungai Tichawangana of Artist Dynamic, also known as Sensei, because <laughs> I go to him for everything website related. Uh, Fungai has done so much work on Boss Diplomat's website. I've got to show it off to you. It's absolutely amazing and absolutely could not have done it without you. Welcome to the show, Fungai. Thanks, Talin. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's get to know you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what Artist Dynamics actually does. Yeah, uh, Artist Dynamics builds digital marketing strategies, platforms, primarily for creative entrepreneurs. And we also work with some small businesses, but our focus is on creative entrepreneurs. Now, personal branding is going to be incredibly important these, to these types of entrepreneurs. Without them, nothing happens. They are the individuals that are creating these amazing things, but they just don't know how to showcase that, right? That's true, yeah. Right? And yeah. at the end of the day, you know, okay, so your website, that is pretty much your HQ. That is your headquarters. Everything should be on your website as your portfolio, but there needs to be other marketing strategies, um, you know, whether it's Instagram or online ads or billboards or TV or whatever you decide your marketing avenue is going to be. It needs to redirect back to the website and the website is where the main call to action should be taking place. That is correct. That's so true. And going back to the point you just made about mm -hmm. uh, the creative being the main driver of the business right and like with a lot with other businesses where if you have a, a good product say you you uh, you sell ice cream you run an ice cream stand your ice cream if it's good will be the driver of your business whereas with creatives often at the very beginning and in the first years of your business it's you it's your face it's your personality it's your skills mm -hmm. that drive the business right people are coming for you as creatives we hate to a lot of creatives hate doing that hate being out in front saying hey you know what i know what i'm doing come to me i will be able to be of service to you in this way when it comes to especially websites and when you're working with a solopreneur it's so it's so common where either the solopreneur is present but the information is just very like clinical very very generic um you have a little bit of an underlining of where they came from and why they're doing what they're doing but it just doesn't click there's there's some there's something missing about this story and then you have some um, entrepreneurs who don't even mention who they are but then they, they're using I everywhere like I will help you and I will do this and I'm here for you and it's like who am I talking to like I'm talking to yeah. a ghost right now so that's exactly, quite yeah. typical right on a website yeah yeah and it's part of that whole thing of uh of not wanting to be seen. It's okay, mm. I'm going to say, but I'm not going to put a profile of myself out there. And that's that's so important. Um, you speak about um, the website being the center of everything that you're doing. Mm. And a big part of that is if you are the center of your business, you need to be at the heart of everything that is encapsulated in in in, in the website, the stories you're telling the whole idea of having this clinical sort of face to a website is a mix also of how there's this idea that, oh, once I go into business, mm. I have to present myself in a certain way. Mm -hmm. right? I have to be professional. I have to be... And yet, yeah. no, if you're creative, people want to see you for who you are, right? And they'll either like you or not like you. And so you there'll be people who will like you for what you present, what you put out there, your, um, your flaws, your characteristics, your strengths. And so put it out there. Look, guys, professional is not your identity. It's what you do. So even, even Fungi and I, we are professional with each other. We act, we act in a professional conduct. 
um, you know, we we are professional with our clients, but that's not our personalities. So when mm -hmm. a lot of solopreneurs say, "Well, I need to be professional," if that's just, I feel like that's an that's an excuse to just kind of blend in. We are talking about entrepreneurs who have started something from scratch. They've created something from scratch. They are now working for themselves. You have no rules. So what is the difference from guy between a client having like imagine imagine they worked with me and they had a brand blueprint that is their strategy and I'm just passing that on to you and saying right based on this build a website versus a client that comes to you and say uh well I kind of want this and I want this and I want this and the ideas are very wishy-washy and they're expecting you to interpret what's going on in their heads oh it's night and day right as a web developer working on a project you have so many ideas that you want to experiment with, that you want to try, that you think will well, work well for the client that may not be right, right? And so what you want to do is reduce experimentation, reduce back and forth. And when you've got a blueprint from a client that says, this is the sort of person I'm working with, mm. this is the sort of uh, demographic. So for instance, we both have a client who works, whose focus is women who are 50 and over. Mm. Right, and that's in their uh, blueprint. So, as a web developer, I know when I'm looking for photos, mm. I'm not going to find a photo of a teenager to put on their on their website. Yeah, right? so it cuts out um, th this dilution of a brand that can happen when you don't have a clear bl blueprint. Let's talk about SEO because people throw that out like it's candy, right? SEO, oh, you know, my website needs to be SEO and blog SEO. A lot of entrepreneurs don't actually know how that works. They just think if you do the SEO once, done. I don't have to work on this again. That is totally false. So you're the SEO king. You can tell us a little bit more about <laughs> that. Uh, I do a lot of SEO. Yes, you sure do. <laughs> but here's the thing about SEO mm. and what I would love for entrepreneurs to understand. If you think of a, a big global brand, Right. Let's take uh, Starbucks, for instance. They are constantly researching market trends, what products are doing well, what are people looking for. Right, So that is market research, and they pay people millions of dollars every single year to get that information. Right, Because they know for their business to continue to grow and thrive, they need to have that data. Mm. Now, with SEO, it's just like that. Right? Mm. So basically, what you're doing as you're saying as a, as, a, as a business owner, I'm putting a website onto the internet and I'm targeting people who love dogs or I'm targeting people who love fashion or I'm targeting business owners who, uh, who, who provide uh, services to homeowners, right? But what are the things that my clients want, right? And what are the words that they use when they are speaking about the problems they face that I solve? Right, so a good example, if you're a florist and you realize that, oh, people are into yellow flowers. Mm. So you do a blog post about, hey, we have a new stock of yellow flowers in, in, in our shop, come in and buy them. But yet on Google, people are Googling yellow roses. You've just totally missed the mark. Right. right? That little difference in terminology makes mm. all the difference. So SEO is about that understanding those exact keywords that people are using when they're looking for the services and products that you provide. So SEO basically is market research, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Now with tools like Answer the Public, with SpyFu, uh, with SEO actions that we offer at Artist Dynamics, you can get what used to cost millions of dollars mm. or tens of dollars. Right. right. So subscription for like $20, $30, $40 a month you can get this really rich data that tells you exactly what your clients are looking for. Yeah, exactly. And then the other thing that I want to add as a layer is, um, so you can have a lot of traffic to your website, but then is anything happening? Is that call to action being taken place? Do you even have a call to action? Are there too mm. many call to actions? You're giving people way too many options. You should just really give them one at best. Um, and don't just let that be a newsletter because sometimes a newsletter, if it's not functioning properly, then you're just missing such a big opportunity to to actually just make that sale or get that new client. One of the things that I was 
desperate to show you guys is the work that Fungi has done on my website. Fungi, I know this was not an easy task. Um, what are the things that you enjoyed working on my website based on my strategy? And what are the things that made me go, oh, I'm going to kill Tarleen? <laughs> <laughs> well, the things that that I enjoyed when working on the site was obviously it's a very uh, vibrant brand. Um, you really wanted it, the personality that you um, that you exude, that you bring to your clients, your work to come out. And so that challenge of how do we do that, um, that was very interesting. Uh, and I love that you understood that a website needs to do more than just sit online, mm -hmm. right? From the get-go, you wanted to make sure that your website was doing work for your business. Right. And uh, so you were you were willing to invest resources, time, um, get content done professionally for it, which is yes. sometimes hard hard to get uh, business people to do. Uh, you know, this the, the, this whole notion that um, oh, I can get get it cheap um, on Fiverr or so, you know somewhere else. Why are you charging this much? Whereas when you when you think about all the things we've been talking about, the SEO, uh, a, an effective call to action, a hook, and really showcasing mm -hmm. the work, it's important that you get someone who knows what they're doing. So now you know how important personal branding is in building not just the website, a really, really good website. If you feel like you still need some help with your branding, book a free 30 minute consultation with me. We'll have a really fun mini branding session, no strings attached. And for people who really want to work with Fungi, absolutely 100% check out his website. What is the best way for people to get in touch with you, Fungi? If you visit artistdynamics.com, right on the homepage, there is a big button that appears several times that says book a call. Right, visit um, the website, click on the button, and it'll take you to a schedule link where you can schedule a meeting with me. And I remember at the beginning of this interview, I promised people a link to a guide that they can download that has questions you should ask your web developer and yourself before you start a web development project. And the URL for that is artistdynamics.com. I'm sure it'll be somewhere on the screen. Here, 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 here. .com <laughs> forward slash Q, the letter Q. Q. Yeah. Okay. Q yeah. Q, Q, Q. Just one Q, not many Qs. I'm confusing That's people now. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Fun guy, thank you so much for joining me on Be Your Brand with Boss Diplomat. It was absolutely Later. amazing having you on and learning so much about websites. Who knew websites were so like, add so many layers to it, right? Yeah, it does. Thank you. It, it's, it was a pleasure being here.